everyone. Today we're here at Gwynn Park to talk about John H. Gwynn Jr. John Gwynn Jr. was born in Tennessee and moved to Peoria after a time in the Army. When he came to Peoria, uh, Peoria was still heavily segregated, like most of the nation at that time. And due to redlining, uh, there were only a few neighborhoods where Gwynn could actually live. Immediately started his fight for equality. He started out by targeting restaurants that would not serve black people. And then he moved on to a bus boycott. It's wildly successful. You see, the, the bus company at the time had no black drivers and yet was the main source of transportation for black citizens. He was successful in that boycott and then he moved on to target uh, various utility companies. Well, one of them, uh, despite having 600 employees, the only blacks employed there were his janitors. After that, he moved on to other local employments. He took on the city. And of course, the schools at the time were still segregated. So one of the tasks that John set about was integrating the schools. One of John's uh, forms of uh, protest uh, were peaceful sit-ins, where he would uh, take groups of people um, into the offices and have a sit-in, or a sing-in, or a clap-along to put pressure on these companies and sometimes this took weeks and months to accomplish, but he never uh, faltered in his fight for equality. John Gwynn also fought against segregation and racism in the local labor unions. And he also took on the redlining practices, which kept blacks from moving into other neighborhoods by boycotts and protests at the uh, Association of Realtors and other uh, real estate firms. One of my favorite quotes about John Gwynn is that he met injustice with ferocity. 